Hello friends, welcome to VFX Pipeline channel. In this video, I will show you how you can connect Microsoft Xbox One game controller with Unreal Engine. So I recently purchased a brand new Xbox One controller and this one I want to integrate with my Unreal Engine. So let's just go step by step. First, we'll start with the unboxing of this uh, Xbox One and we'll find out what inside this box. And also we'll connect this to Unreal and navigate the viewports as well as uh, control inside Unreal Engine. So there are a lot of fun to do in this video. Please watch until the end of this video and don't forget to subscribe to VFX Pipeline channel because here we are going to introduce a lot of new videos for you guys like that. Okay, so let's start this video. All right, so our Unreal Engine is already ready and now we will plug our Xbox game controller inside of our Unreal Engine and we'll start playing around. So this is the unboxing here we see, this is the new brand new box which I've received. And uh, first time I'm going to open in front of you because I also don't have any idea what's inside this, uh, this beautiful box here, okay? So let me just quickly open this, here we go. We just remove this wrap. And before I open that, I will just quickly show you, this is the box here, you can see this is uh, Windows, X, Xbox One Windows wireless controller. So this is basically with Bluetooth. If you have Windows 10, you can actually use this uh, same controller for Xbox, even as well as for Windows game also. And that's, that's why I, I prefer uh, using Xbox. And here you can see this is the wonderful Xbox controller it's quite big actually as, as I expecting yeah so, so here you can see this is this is uh, very good uh, looks very cool so we can in this box we'll get two batteries as well as a uh, few documentations of Xbox so I mean this is all fine Issue. This is the interesting part which we want to explore more and the cable is not coming with this if you want to connect with the cable uh, to your laptop this is not comes with that but uh, overall this is really good okay let me just uh, quickly plug these batteries inside this and make sure I will keep up this uh, and here you can see that this is also a very good uh, overall build quality here from nearby you can see it's very smooth actually yeah so it's basically uh, expecting one i would say what is this is this a mini hdmi uh, or for charging basically you can use this uh, micro usb so that is actually you can use and even this is same you can use it to connect with your computer itself okay so Great, let's just uh, in our second step is let's just connect this. So let me plug it out to batteries here. So batteries, okay. Maybe I should uh, keep one scissor with me whenever I'm doing the unboxing pack. This is the first time I'm doing. I, I usually don't do all this kind of unboxing thing, but this is really cool. I really want to share my experience. So basically we need to check where plus and minus so basically this will go minus and this is plus here perfect and this is going plus here and minus here so this is like that okay so you just plug this so the interesting thing in this is basically you can connect this with uh, wireless so wireless means uh, you can just if you're using windows 10 you can just simply use bluetooth to connect uh, your this device with uh, with your windows like, computer okay all right so now it's completely connected with our uh, laptop and this xbox one controller is now working absolutely fine inside unreal and to be honest i i did not do anything to actually connect that basically it's just plug and play feature if you are using windows 10 and all this uh, all these features are straightforward come when you connect using bluetooth so well, what I was trying to do is in this in the settings I was trying to add as a controller But all you have to do is just connect it as a regular Bluetooth device and it will just connect So there is no complications here. It's very straightforward uh, So here you can see is how easy 
and how how uh, how much uh, I mean excitement come in here when you are when you are navigating the viewport. So this is basically the viewport that we are navigating. And this is like one step we are moving forward to controlling the space, 3D space using these kind of controller. So in virtual production, this will be uh, this will be just like my first tool which I'm, I'm playing around with Unreal. And just to let you know, like guys, I, I was having this controller before, and uh, somehow this controller it was not working with uh, Unreal, and that's why I go with this premium option. So here you can see that uh, this is something, uh, something like around I don't know maybe 400 Indian rupees, and this is 5,000 Indian rupees. So you can see the difference. But this is this worth the quality overall quality is very good. And uh, if you compare this with, I mean there is no way you can't compare Xbox One controller with a normal uh, controller. Uh, which is actually having basic features you get I can play games with this one but this one like even playing game experience is very awesome I mean I was just playing uh, Battlefield 5 with that and the experience of shooting guns with this like having like vibration inside this and overall feel like okay I'm actually playing actually shooting with a gun so this is really good in that sense here you can see that this is xbox one so let us quickly uh, see if we have player mode so right now we are just navigating the viewport so let me just change into for example uh, a wireframe mode okay so with this the wireframe and the same way that you have you can see that i'm, I'm controlling that from here okay so this is the interesting thing here. Now let's just go and see the shaded view again. Uh, link mode and let's just uh, play that. So let me close that and hit play. So now the player is active and let's just play the, uh, simulate the actual, actual scene based on, uh, so right now I just opened the third party one. And uh, let's just click inside your, and here you can see that on, this is going up and jump can be done using this is the jump okay so with that actually you have more control where you can actually set your camera angle properly and if you are using unreal i would recommend you should have something like this because i'm just uh, i'm just i just like this device because this is something very important i mean you can do all this thing using this mouse and you can just go with this uh, keyboard shortcuts inside this but uh, you know what after having this in your hand i mean your entire experience of uh, unreal engine will going to be changed so xbox one really uh, very good option right now and i would recommend for everyone if you are a unreal previous artist or unreal journalist or working on Unreal, I mean, if you are a game developer, definitely this is a tool for you. But even if you are, let's say, if you are setting some camera angles, it's like, okay, uh, now, so this is all you can do all the animation also with that. In coming videos, I will also show you uh, some of the cool uh, how we can use this to use inside the sequencer to uh, take records and all all these kind of stuff that you can uh, use that. So, so far uh, that's it for this video and I hope you enjoy this video and uh, this is the Xbox again. Uh, if you want to buy the same one, it's like a Microsoft one and uh, yeah, plus uh, once you and let me know in the comments below uh, which controller you are using and uh, what is your opinion about this and, uh, and how you want to use this. So in my coming videos, I will show you some more cool uh, gadgets and uh, and uh, some sort of hardware and software unreal related stuff okay so don't forget to subscribe to vfx pipeline channel guys i will see you in my coming videos thank you wow